Greetings, Internet. Today we're going to do a brief walkthrough of what will be titled Arcade Bar at Justice Pub. There's an arcade bar region inside Justice Pub in downtown Jacksonville, Florida. And we're call, just going to call it Arcade Bar. Uh, yo yo, do a walkthrough video. Do an update a walkthrough video of what beers we have in. Wide variety back there too. A lot of different beers. A lot of different beers. You gonna get the Area 51? Coming soon, Area yeah. 51. Yeah. Downtown to Arcade Bar at Justice Pub. And so we're going to fill up more of this wall, coming soon. The camera doesn't like me today. I want to start off with the highlight of this interesting game. This is a Williams touchscreen game. Uh, it takes quarters and dollars. And, and one of the interesting things in here, if I can find it, is one of a kind. This is the only game in the world that has a touchscreen version of Centipede Returns. Uh, easy man, and it's a very rare game that. I, and it basically, oh crap! I suck at it. So you basically tap where you want it to be, but then you need to go back and forth, or you hold it. Oh man, this. I mean, I'm really not a good centipede player. I'm doing okay so far. Uh, it's basics, basic centipede, but it's pretty quick jumping back and forth uh, with the touch screen. Oh man, I'm gonna get wrecked. Oh, I got wrecked. I'm doing it left-handed. I'm right-handed hand with uh, the camera. Yeah. I don't even know if I've seen a video online of this game. Ooh, get wrecked. This game's really cool. This is one of the coolest touchscreen games ever. Um, and this is a CRT monitor touchscreen game. Get wrecked. Nice. Come on. Ooh. Hmm. Can't imagine what it's like on hard. It seems like it has different power-ups and characters in it. Uh, they had not done a centipede since the original. After this, they actually made a new arcade version, which is really big, that the Dave & Busters uh, have in and the other arcade places. Yeah. So this is highlight. I, I kind of wish I could just set this to centipede. Maybe I can, and then put like a dedicated top or two. What? Oh, uh, centipede returns. Oh man, I'm still going. Ooh, it's time based. But that's what that. That's what's up. It's time based. Exit the game. Uh, it's, it's a quarter play, I guess. Yeah. I just got a free game. Uh, I wrecked it. I'm number one. You know, that, that's pretty cool. Heck yeah. Deal. Pretty good game. Um, sometimes stuff gets... So also, like, if you touch, like, the middle, you can just, I mean, anywhere on the screen, left and right, you can, you, you can use as well. It's pretty neat. Uh, classic uh, Street Fighter Championship Edition, CPS 2. Everybody knows this game. I will be uh, putting another joystick on the left player. Uh, the right one's new. Left one, I just kind of wait till it kind of wore down a little. New Challengers, what do I call it? Everybody calls it something else. This is Arknoid. This is the only Arknoid in town. There hasn't been an Arknoid in town in quite a while. This is a classic. 
Um, and the knob I have is it's not original, but it's still it's really solid. It so a little moves it a lot. Yes, yeah, it's this Artnoid in the house. So that's classic quarter play. That's classic quarter play. Yeah, Street Fighter, yeah, is, is 50 cent. Um, we'll go to pinball and then we'll do the last Frankenstein game. Big house. It's the early 80s, I believe it's 86 pinball. It's pretty rare. You can see how it has all these odd movie uh, character, theme looking characters, caricatures of it. It's not how the, the light lights up the, the top of the, the marquee. And it's neat. It's got like a bowl and chain there. And it's got like art of the sharks in it. Um, and it's just a really neat game from the 80s. You never, almost never ever see all LED 50 cent. Uh, all pinball is 50 cent. That's the going rate for pinball now. Street Fighter 2. Uh, a lot of people like it. A lot of people just don't get it. But this game does have a lot going on. It's got a car underneath with the flipper that when you choose your modes you either choose you know you can choose multi-ball or points or you can choose the, the car underneath mode or points and it goes back and forth. Uh, it's kind of a linear game but you do get a lot of options of, uh, of what modes you want to go left and right. There's a top left flipper. Um, I added a, a Zangief and a Dalzim and a Chun Li. So I had a bunch of toys, LED light bulbs. Um, it's got the scoops on each side. Uh, it's got some interesting shots. Again, I mean, it's not. It, it, I think it complements the Street Fighter that's behind me on the other wall. Uh, Doctor Who pinball, early 90s, around 92. Um, it's got a light up topper as well. Um, again, this is, this is a neat game. It's got nice uh, the right flipper. Got a nice loop shot here. So a flipper here that goes to that ramp on the right. Um, it need, this one, this one needs some work. Um, probably swap it out soon. Uh, eventually for another game that, that works a uh, hundred percent. You know, stuff happens on route. Uh, they're all fifty cent. In the future, I'll have games that take uh, dollar bills. Right now, everything takes quarters except for the the touchscreen game kicks a quarter. And this is kind of a monstrosity, but it's interesting. It's Super Mario Brothers versus version, and it's in a uh, it's in a Primal Rage cabinet. So I had a Primal Rage uh, that I got that was missing a lot of parts. So um, and the main board had problems. Put nice uh, Zippy is an off brand, but. Uh, their joysticks are actually not bad. They're nice and clicky, and it's nice quick movement. So I put uh, some zippy joysticks I had on there, uh, and it's nice and bright. And it's it's uh they did a the Nintendo this version this game was on N a Nintendo Entertainment System then arcades. So arcade games are a little harder. Um, here's the the stage area. Uh, they do all rock shows. Uh, hip hop shows, uh, events, uh, dart boards are off for the moment. Um, this is the darts area, and you know more seating. Here's the change machine. The change machine's just around the corner. Put a light strip on it, so hey, you know, this is where the change machine is. Um, ones and fives for a good amount of change for the machines. Again, eventually. Uh, most of the games, except for the classics, will have bill acceptors. I don't really want to cut open classic games and put bill acceptors on it. But the pinball uh, in the future will be games that have bill acceptors on it. This is a good view. Um, begin downtown. Uh, I believe it's 315 East Bay Street. It's just down the road from Jacksonville, Jaguar Stadium. Um, and... Just down the road from where the landing used to be. And uh, coming soon is Area 51. Max Force Combo. It's, both games will go right here. We'll slide stuff around. So we'll go right next to Big House. And more and more coming soon. The goal is to have a 
a good variety for everybody and we're calling it arcade bar at Justice Pub. Uh, that's what I'm calling it. Um, just so it's a different thing. Like the Facebook page. Um, all my posts will be relayed on uh, the 904 Pinball Zine uh, YouTube channel and Instagram. Um, also on Facebook as well. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, appreciate all the views coming up. And I'll do more current walkthroughs in the future of all the locations uh, that I have games at in Jacksonville, Florida. Again, uh, like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate the views. And uh, more coming soon at the Arcade Bar at Justice Pub. Arcade Bar at Justice Pub in downtown Jacksonville, Florida.